Hey guys, it's Jackie over at Stain Foo. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to use a little spot machine to clean up a muddy footprint. The first thing you should do with muddy footprint is to actually let it dry first. Don't try to do anything special to it. You'll, you'll want to just let it completely dry first and then I'll show you what to do next. So what we have here is already a muddy footprint. We let it sit and dry overnight and we'll do the next step, which is to vacuum. So we'll do that really quick here. Okay, so as you can see, just vacuuming alone took care of the mud quite a bit. And so that's why we wanna let it dry because vacuuming will do a really good job of getting most of that out of the carpet. So if you have a muddy footprint, muddy footprint or paw print, um, the next step to do, if it's still there, is to take your spot cleaner. This is what we have here. It's a Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Machine. Okay, now I magically have all of my supplies. You wanna use hot tap water. This takes about 32 ounces in the little container, but you wanna check to make sure what yours has or how much it fills up. And what I'm going to do is just fill the tank with water, the hot water. All right, and then we're gonna take our stained foo and first we're gonna shake it up before we put it in our tank here. And since this is 32 ounces, we're gonna put in two tablespoons and a cap full we found out is about one tablespoon, so about two caps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's laughing at me. I like to shake it up just to make sure that the mixture is all mixed in there. All right, we're gonna put it right back in there. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is just pre-treat this uh, muddy footprint first, just a little bit, just to kind of get it on there. And you can actually let it sit there for a couple of minutes and maybe agitate it a little bit. Alternately, you can use a dull metal spoon to agitate if you don't want to use your hands, just like this. Make sure that all the product is mixed in there. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and what we're going to do is do this sort of motion to basically clean the rest of it out. All right, and there you have it. We're just gonna let that dry. For darker stains, what you can do is pre-treat it with the full strength stain foo instead of mixing it into your uh, container here and just pre-treating with your bottle for those kind of darker stains or heavier stains and just lightly do that, agitate it, and then try that again if you have a darker stain. But in this case, we were able just to mix it in with our little spot machine and looks like it came out great. So it's just drying right now, Looks, it's just wet, probably looks kind of weird in the camera, but looks clean to me. 
And that's how you use stained foo with a little spot machine to clean a mud footprint. And 